After Northern Elders asked federal government to crush IPOP and Ududua agitators, Kanu sent new message to the federal government. Following the call for disintegration, Northern Elders have called on the federal government to crush all those threatening the unity of the nation, as Nigeria must remain as one big united entity. The chairman of the Northern Elders Forum, Professor Ango Abdullahi, on Wednesday added that Nigeria cannot afford to break. Breaking up is unacceptable as the Northern region have paid a huge price for the survival of Nigeria. Noting that the federal government must quench all secessionist agitators. Kano have, however, replied via his social media handle saying that no government can defeat her citizens. According to Kano, the government are the employees of the people. As such, there is no way the employees will be stronger than this. Nnamdi Kanu went ahead to advise the government to trade with care, as no government can defeat her citizens even if it makes use of force or brutes. So it is only right that the employers demand full accountability and responsibility from its employees. In other words, the people have the right to demand full accountability from the government. As such, this government should be more concerned on how to listen to the voice of the people than showing their military might, as power belongs to the people. Thank you for listening to this news. You see, normally, on a normal ground, the people are the government. The people are the government. So the people decide for the government. And that is why in democracy, we are seen to be the government of the people and not government of the individual. And as a government of the people, it should be a decision of the people and not a decision of the individual. So quite unfortunate, this administration has turned the democracy of this country to be the democracy of the individual and not the democracy of the people. Yes. And that is why Ango Abdullahi can say what he is saying. Listen to what Mazin Namdekanu is saying. Buari is an employee to the people. Indirectly, the people are the ones paying Buari. Yes, they are the ones paying Buari. Indirectly, the people are the employer to Buari. It is the people that decided that it is going to be Buari because if the people didn't vote him in or said that it's going to be Buari, then who is Buari to be deciding for the people? Do you understand what I'm saying? So now the Kanu is on point. He is trying to remind Brahu, look, oh, we are in a democratic system of government and not a military system of government. And this democratic system of government says that it is the government of the people and not the government of the individual like the military system. So the autocratic system that you are trying to introduce into this system should be taken away. You must learn to listen to the people. When the people decide to speak up, then you should give them the hearing. The ear. Don't be the one, the one, the one to decide for the people. Give the people the opportunity to air their view. In fact, it is only this administration I see that they challenge the people's decision. They, they, they arrest people who decide to come out and air their view. They challenge people who decide to say no, that it cannot happen. See, in the democratic system of government, you are given the opportunity to come and air your view. You are given the opportunity to shun injustice. 
when whereby you, dis- you discover injustice, you're given opportunity to challenge it. But the Bari administration has countered that. Has countered that. Is that right? No. If it is right, you tell me. You tell me if it is right. It is not. And can never be. Do you understand? Namdekanu is trying to make Bori to understand that we are in a democratic system of government. So give the people the chance to speak. Give them the chance to speak. Give them the chance to air their view. Give them the chance to, to, to decide. You can't be deciding for the people. You understand? And that is the humble truth. Professor Ango, I respect most of your opinion, but this very one, I don't go with it. I don't go with it. To be frank and to be sincere to you, I don't go with it. You understand? Because we are talking about the government of the people and not the government of, of worry. The government of the people gives us equal opportunity. Gives us equal opportunity and the opportunity to speak up when we discover one. So what are we saying? What are we saying? You understand? And that is it. So, my dear viewers, whatever anyone have to present as per opinion against injustice, you have the right to do so. You have the right to do so because you are a citizen of this country. Do you understand? You have the right. Okay? Don't allow yourself to be to be to, to be to be cheated. To be cheated. Don't allow that. Okay? What is good for the gives is good for the gander. That is just the humble truth. So, my my beloved, we are all we, 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 are, we are all Nigerians and we all understand the system and the constitution of this country and we know what the constitution states. So let us not be deceived or be told a lie because the whole thing is not looking like a lie. Abi? Uh-huh. So what are we saying? So Please and please and please and please, I don't know what your opinion concerning this may be, but I believe you have something to say. Please don't forget to leave your, your, your contribution below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the pair buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.